All right. Microphone check. You already know the Gemini Scorpio when podcast. Yeah. I wasn't even ready. My bad. It's all good. It's all good, man. Episode, this is how we coming in. Episode 50. It's because I can't see the screen because nah. Lante blocking it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, y'all know that. Y'all listen. Y'all know our cameraman, like, you know, real swole with it. They Pause. also are bodyguards. I try to I try to think of another like another phrase, but it still just all sounded bad. It's, it's but, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Lante, our cameraman. Matter of fact, uh, you already know episode fifty nine. The whole gang is here. You already know Hiller Bay is in the building. Alexander DeBlanc is here. Yeah, Mr. J Hill, I'm here. I let everybody introduce them themselves. I'm uh, we got the whole crew in here. Lante Base God is in the building. Taz Film, Taz Cannon Boy Films is in the building. Um, yeah, we got a uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lex is in the building. Uh, Lex in the city. I keep. I always mess that up. Lex, sexy Lexies. Lex in the city. Exactly. Lex so got the right. juices. Lex. You already know she about to get us right. Lex uh, with the juice. Pink celebrity Mo, Monique is in the building. Yes, um, you already know we got a live audience. Um, you know usually we say people name, but it's like a lot of. But just in case, just because, right? Because they don't think I know how I know what I'm, know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? We got Milani in the building. We got Taylor here. We got uh Rock, Rocky in the building. Okay. We got Jasmine in the building. We got Nick in the building. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Stop <laughs> playing with me. You feel me? Like, that's different right now. Oh, yeah. AKA the team's girlfriends are in the building today. Because yeah, yeah. I ain't they... the only lady today, and that's on period. What if they want to? What... Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? It's going to get lit, period. But and unison. If... Period. I love it. But what if what if the fellas ain't want but nobody to know that, 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 that? Not that on that Valentine's one? Day. Not on Valentine's Day. Maybe another motherfucker. Man, you day. hot, man. It might be some people just dating. Like shit. Not on Valentine's Day. That's they. So we not dating. You should be if you ain't if it ain't your bitch. You shouldn't be with her on Valentine's Day. Nah, you, that's, if that's if all you gonna hear in the background. Period. <laughs> Make sure you mute that shit, man. Cause I was like, period, period, period. Like oh, I love it. I hate okay. it here, but whatever. <laughs> Yo, we had to. Uh, Fuck that! It's always mad niggas in here. Now you hate it now because it's mad girls. You see nah, you? a lot of ladies. You know, I got mad love for the ladies. Mm-hmm. You know, Jay love the ladies, man. Like you know, what I'm saying, like in a good, positive way. Okay, that's you know what I'm saying. Enough. It's Valentine's Day. It's not supposed to be no Quick toxic behavior on this show today because it's Valentine's Day, and baby, I deserve. Baby, okay. you deserve. Hey, right, yo, we had the, uh, no the, um, the, the Valentine's Day brunch. Shout out to everybody that yes. fuck with us. Shout out to the chef, man. Matter of fact, shout we're going to uh, chef. We're gonna let the chef introduce himself. Yes, um, sir. Poop. He I'm was so man. cool. I probably bloated on camera. I've been busting out my shirt. Busting out. The, what the up, game. dog? So, yo, first of all, um, if you want to tell everybody your name and shit and where they're going to pl- plug yourself. I look at the cameras what I look right here. Okay, so my name is Hakeem. Um, I just started cooking. For everybody else, probably about three weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, and um, I make West Indian food, Italian food. Okay. You name it, I can make it. Yeah. What's, what's, your, mm-hmm. what's your social medias? Where they can find you? Uh, Keem underscore the teacher. Okay, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, so. I appreciate well, what it, you, dog. What you make for us today, though? Tell the people what you yeah, make. Yeah, man. Today. I made some um some shrimp and crab stuff, salmon, mm. some. What else? This nigga <laughs> forgot. This nigga <laughs> forgot. I right think now. he made the bread. <laughs> It was biscuits. The biscuits. Yeah, the biscuits. Yeah. The shrimp and grits. Shrimp and the shrimp and grits. I made uh, shrimp. Yeah, shrimp and grits. Also, my mother made the grits. Yeah, shout uh, out to yeah. Right there. You the had chef the, Nick. You had the motherfucking, uh, the stuffed salmon or it was just regular salmon? No, that was stuffed. No, stuffed salmon, yeah. It was stuffed salmon with the, with the spinach Crab and shrimp, bro. Crab and shrimp. No, that shit was I couldn't eat it, though. That shit was thank smack. You, thank nah, you, thank you. you did your thing. We definitely appreciate you for, you know, getting the team together on Valentine's Day. So this was a team brunch. And you know we are recording on Valentine's Day, so this was a big deal. So thank you for pulling up and getting Absolutely. us about the way. Appreciate you, big dog. Man, thank you for real, you. man. Shout out. Make sure you follow Keem the teacher. Keem underscore the teacher. Keem underscore the teacher. Mm-hmm. How do you? Oh, wait. So if you. So wait, wait, wait. Tell me. You're gonna change your accent to say the name on Instagram as, as we can. Because, if it, because we can it's spell the accent. Because name. Yeah. So what's it? Is the teacher? How, it's not the teacher. But how can you we? Can't, we're gonna the spell teacher. it. We gotta it's spell it. It's better. It's better just how we song. You see that? You see that? day. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Love to hear it. Let's get it. I was about to D- we appreciate I- you. You don't get your Instagram. Is it how we sell? Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Man. D I T E A C H A. That still says the teacher. It says the teacher. The teacher. No, the teacher. The is the. The teacher. The the dumb nigga. This the Oh shit. The eyes. The eyes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for pulling nah, up. No, I appreciate it, dog. Anytime, Thank you, man. Absolutely. No problem. Absolutely. Yo, yeah, uh, man. let's get into this podcast. Uh, t- t- how was y'all week, man? You no, know, leading up to Valentine's Day. This week? How was it? Yeah, because I want to start first. Let's go. 
I wasn't saying First and foremost, happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. Thank Ooh, you. Happy anniversary. You, you know yes. what I'm saying? Yesterday was Jay and I's third, three year anniversary. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all already heard the motherfucking anniversary story. So, period. It's uh, and anniversary. I'm in a Cutie music. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been, we've so, been drinking, y'all. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm definitely schmiz. So, uh, but. We started celebrating yesterday because it was our anniversary. So we had a little staycation at a little sexy hotel. It was lit. You know what I'm saying? Went to dinner. So we had a great time. Friday, we took my Mai out to dinner for her Valentine's Day. So Mad we went and got uh, crab boils at Hot yeah. and Juicy. You know, my and Jay love crab legs. You know what I'm saying? Had the mussels, the scrimp, the corn, all that good stuff. So that was a vibe. Uh, the week was smooth, honestly, man. Just worked this week. Um, chilled. A little bit. It was nasty weather like all week. So, scary. yeah, it was a little, you know, slow, a little light week. So that's about it. What about you, Alex? It was lit. I ain't Ooh. gonna lie. It was okay, a complete lit. 180 from last week. For real? Oh yeah, it was, was really. Good. So wait, we love I'm a 180. Long. I know why. Nah, 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 so nah, 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 I know why nah, 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 nah. Yo, so because it was leading <laughs> up to Valentine's Day. Alex took a deep breath. Oh, oh. He took a deep breath. He's nervous. Because it was. I don't know what he gonna say. He just never know what they gonna say. Nah, nah, now niggas girlfriends in here. Niggas like, oh, 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 oh. Gosh. You know, she, 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 she support the podcast, but she don't be watching the whole thing. So sometimes nah, right, she, right, she, nah, she might catch nah, that. Nah, nah, I say one thing. She listened to it before me. Because she the whole she thing. She get the notification the before oh, me. Oh, nah. She be like, oh, you want to do that in the third? She really listening to see if you said some crazy shit. Like, nah, let me hear the fuck No, the... no, what she's doing is taking mental notes. Like, okay, that's, I see you. I like that. Okay, period. You must think I'm boo-boo the fucking fool. <laughs> what do you think I believe? Let me take mental notes. What, girl? It's Valentine's Day. Anyway. Thank I'm gonna you. Take We're not no, being toxic. See, yeah, no toxic, toxic energy. Today. That's the title of it. No toxic energy. Fuck is he talking about? Yeah. Um. So I know why it's so special because... You know, ladies didn't want to fuck it up because Valentine's Day was coming mm -hmm. up. You know what I'm saying? Because if they if they made the wrong move, then they know that Valentine's so Day getting that's canceled. That's how you wait. Hold on. So that's what that's you why thought. it was so special for hold us. On. This that's week. why you thought because I felt like Jay kept trying to fight with me all week, and I was on my best behavior. Fuck you talking about. She want to try and give me no no me, angry no no lip no nothing. Starting tomorrow, we're on a different path. Just prepare. I told her. I told her what was wrong with me, and she was like. I'm sorry that you feel that way and everything. <laughs> I'm sorry that made you Wait a minute. <laughs> I can see why. I can see how that will make you upset. I'm okay. sorry. What? Where did this come from? Like, tomorrow. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's tomorrow. Day. As soon as the clock strikes midnight. Devil arrives. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. The devil is here in red. Fuck you mean. Yeah, my, um, my week How was, was your week? Too. I was going to say, how was your my week? My week was lit, man. Um, It was cool. Yeah. The fucking uh, Valentine's Day was fire. Well, yeah. Our anniversary was fire. Yes. The restaurant was cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, uh, the fucking hotel was yeah. lit. But we was at the restaurant. Yeah. And like, they put us in the little, the, the little, uh, Cubicle. the room, no, right? No, it was a private room. Oh, wow. Right. No, However, no, 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 Wait a minute. They put us in a private room with other people. So right. it wasn't private So no it was more. three, it was three couples in a private room. You know how typically you can rent out a private room. Right. Jay did that for like my birthday, like two years ago, three years ago. She always but trying this, to throw it in there as if like... You get in. No, like she always yeah. trying to throw that in there. Like people don't even know what the fuck is going so on. So yes, I have like, private rooms. Like, but they put it was three couples. So you got to, you know, private rooms aren't that big. It's just really for your party. Like if you have a party of six to ten, it's for y'all. So it's not that big. Room. It's like the size of this living room. They put three couples in there. This obnoxious ass couple just. I mean, I couldn't even have a conversation with Jay because their conversation is my conversation now. Because now, you know what I'm saying? We should have just, just put our tables together. We might as well just sat next to each other. Have like, have some fellowship. Yeah, you know so, what I'm saying? Fun and fellowship at that yeah. time. So at first, like, it was cool. Like, you know, we we still vibing, you know, eating our food, drinking. But after a while, I was getting annoyed because I ain't going to lie. I felt like they just kept, they kept saying, like, I mean, I don't care. I'm going to get loud. So I felt like they was kind of bitching me because I'm like, do you think I won't say nothing? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of got annoyed. Y'all you you ain't say nothing though, right? No, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is just black people. This is what we think. We just always think the the worst. She like, cause I kind of thought he was trying to bitch me. They because didn't well, first us. of all, cause no, Jay wasn't facing them. I was facing them. They kept looking over, like, and they was like, "You gonna embarrass me?" They was like, "I don't care. I'll get loud." And okay. I was like, "Look over here again, and we are gonna see." She's trying to be fucking Mike on an anniversary. She's like, yeah, damn. Because like, I'm enjoying it. Just think about it. I'm enjoying a meal with my man. And y'all are hella loud, no courtesy, not even like, hey, y'all, yeah, we've been yeah, drinking, no, I'm sorry. Weird. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Like, I'm a little loud, I'm a little drunk, bear with me. And I'm like, okay, girl, do your thing, because I understand I get drunk sometimes. We're all a little obnoxious sometimes. I get that, but like, just no, just real. You know, that was a little young, too, so I'm going to give them that. Yeah, let's give them, let's give them some know, a grace. Happy, happy Valentine's Day to them. I just want to say yeah. out this, though, um, like to everybody, 
we don't need no more Scorpio. So just, you know, oh, yeah, use, use protection condom. during this, these times. You know, I feel some type of way about that. And I feel attacked that people are telling people use condoms on Valentine's Day so there's no more Scorpios. Like, what are you guys trying to extinct us? Like, relax. No, 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 you don't have to. Like, I mean, what's seen the a, problem? Seen a video. We you are made out of love. Do y'all not understand that? Scorpios are made out of love. You don't have to. Or lust, one of them. But either way, it's something good. <laughs> or how about this? Sometimes. You don't, you don't have to. If you, like some people, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to wear protection, that's your lady. Y'all been together for a long time. Don't wear protection. Just get a plan B. You know what I'm saying? That's like, wild. Either That's way. Wild. That's really wild. <laughs> That's really wild. That's I'd rather you tell people to use protection to get a plan B. I mean, you just... I mean, so plan on. B is, is there for a reason. Like, if, 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 Watch, let, Jay's going to get attacked by the ladies because don't be telling us what to do with our bodies in that period. Oh, shit. Yeah, I ain't telling... Listen, <laughs> y'all do whatever the fuck y'all... Listen, <laughs> ladies. You know what I'm saying? He said your it. He body said is it. Your body, your body is your, is your temple. temple. Yes, He's sir. He's telling us to kill y'all kids. I ain't telling you to do it. nothing. I ain't saying do nothing. I love you. I want no smoke. Just know you uh, got you got options though. You, you got, got options. You, that's, that's all. Wild. That's it. That's, that's really all. Let's get into the podcast, yo. Before we get into it, yo, shout out to my he's Brandy, uh, DMV Black Owned uh, know. Business. M A H E E S. I held it up like I was doing a commercial. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> shout out to my he's Brandy, but nah, um, it's a Black Owned uh, Business. Um, Brandy and DMV shout is mad Lex. good. Shout out to uh, Lex in the City, um, mm. our bartender. You know she always getting us right on the drinks. Uh, Make sure you hit her up on Instagram. That's uh, Lex in the city. It's like three, three X's. X's. Yeah, I know a little something. You yeah, know what I'm we know Lexi name. You know what I'm saying? Three X's. I like the three cohesion. X's, four Y's. Yeah, yeah. So three make sure X's and four Y's. No, nah, I did that. She do uh, private events. You know, mm-hmm. you do do private events, right? Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. private. If you want to do like a little strip party or stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? She'll be the bartender. She ain't stripping. She'll be the bartender. Right. right. Know your rules, but don't be pressing Respect down on her. Cause don't be pressing down on her when she's making her drinks too. Yeah, period. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what like, because she likes to work in peace. She gets you right. <laughs> she yes, will sir. get y'all right because this yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I drink one more of these, I'm gonna tell you where this podcast is gonna go. Where it's gonna go? To where it's not posty. <laughs> all right let's get into the podcast alex where we at man come on dog why are we talking about relationships you know of course. and we're going to take something that's we're going to take a different type of conversation you know because we always talk about i don't want to say negative talk things about war. Talk it's war, a talking yeah. war type of yeah. thing so we're going to talk about the positives that's and where the benefits of a relationship people ain't listening to this podcast after where, 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 where we at julian episode 59 no, I'm sorry, what, what's the hell time stamp it's gonna be 14 minutes. They're gonna turn it off right at this. Like they're gonna have some lovey dovey. <laughs> <laughs> we can't for bring me toxic. today. <laughs> Why like, is that though? That's the problem. Because people love the negative shit. Like that's just let's let's fix that, people. Let's fix that. I ain't trying none of that because shit. They're gonna be like 15 minutes. Because okay, people no negative are con- shit. I'm out. Because like, people are conditioned to believe that you have to have a love with struggle and not that you can have love with some happiness. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. It. Right. Let's, so let's talk up? about. What's it, the though? happiness? You, know what you go saying? first. What's the hat? Let me find the happiness. Yeah, you don't even know. Shit, we had a whole week. Psych, like, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was going to say it. That was, I was prepping myself to say it, but that's the downsides of the relationship right there because then they always cut me off. It's like, nah. Anyway, <laughs> so the happy in my relationship. So the one thing I will say, I feel like, you know, we talk about growth a lot, but every relationship that you have, like literally, even if you did not like that relationship in the past, does promote some positive levels of growth. Like there's something you're going to take from every relationship, good, bad, or ugly that you're going to take. And it's going to make you better for the next person. You feel what I'm saying? What are we talking about your exes for? Like, what are we talking about? We said the the positive in, in, our, in a relationship, relationship, you said everybody gives you something to take positive and not like, what the fuck are we talking about your exes for? Okay. Come well, here. <laughs> Come back down. All right, all right, all right. It's the drink. <laughs> What the fuck? Did you start talking about how people? I didn't people... get to go where I was going. Like I was listening. I'll let you go and you stopped me. You I wasn't at me. I was like, done. I was just that was just proceed, a, a gem. Proceed. You know what I'm saying? That, that was clearly... an unnecessary gem. Oh, now gems, about exes and now shit. gems are unnecessary. I thought all gems you find was a gem. A gem is a gem. No. Yeah, because a gem. Yeah, you're right. Gems are perfect. Really good. Gemini. No. <laughs> Lex, don't bring no more drinks for Jay today because I see where this is going and. All gyms are good. (laughs) Shout out to the gyms out there. Yo. (laughs) What the fuck, bro? Oh, God. I think I put a contract or something. It was mad weird. Anyway. (laughs) J with the J. Um, Anyway, to to talk about my relationship, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. And get into my relationship. There's a lot of things that I took out of J and I's relationship. And the one thing that I love the most is that he unlocked hidden talents in myself. Mm. Oh, that's so, so, 
She made me want to cry. You know what I'm saying? We go, we're going to snap for that. I like that. That was snap. deep. You know, I, like, that I, like, was, I, like, I like that silence that snap. snap. That was, yeah. that was I don't funny. like the silence because when you said some shit, all the girls like, period, period. <laughs> I need to hear a period. Like, shit. Like, I need some periods in the background. Anyway. Like, they ain't trying to hear that. Look. They ain't anyway. trying to fuck that nigga. Like, <laughs> anyway, some things that I love about unlocking hidden talents. I feel like, you know, when you are in situations that are causing you to be a little stagnant or hindering, you know, some form of growth or it's just a distraction you can't really get to these potentials that you're trying to meet but when you do have somebody who is like pushing you and really want to see you be better in a good way not just for them it really just allows you to really hit spats that you didn't see of yourself before you know what i mean like a lot of me even starting a vlog even the podcast being consistent for 59 weeks that had everything to do with the partner i had and not just because that was already in me if we all know, like I wasn't a podcast. Why would I do that? You know what I'm saying? Cameras, hated cameras, very camera shy. Uh, just all of it. And just even putting myself out there to be even transparent to a lot of people. I was always transparent in conversation if mm-hmm. you were with me, but able to being able to find my voice kind of in in public. That's hard for people to do. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So that's one happy thing that I did take out of this relationship. And, you know, I know we always talk about like, you know, why men? Mm hmm. Why women? But, you know, I just think that, you know, just because it's a love holiday, I think it's very important to go ahead and elaborate on all the positives that I got out of my relationship. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So what the fuck? Did now, you I was waiting for the I was waiting for the period in the building. <laughs> but, but, or. Maybe there's something different. Don't like why are you pressing down on them? Don't press on my lady. I just period. want that same energy. You feel me? But whatever. They I'm going to tell you the same energy. They might give it to you. You being really discriminative. You told us to get rid of our kids. And you also telling them they're not going to do what they're going to do. Like, give them a no chance. Give, give them a moment. Okay, okay. Let them warm I'm gonna up. You, right, I'm going to tell you what. Um, The upsides of my relationship. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's everything, right? So the the same things when we're like, why women, why men? I feel like all of that brings, like makes it, it helps, it it goes in a positive direction as well. Let me tell you why, right? So the differences help me understand my flaws, if that makes sense, right? Mm. Because if I'm I'm only thinking about the way I'm thinking about it, then I don't see my wrongs. I don't see my flaws. I I think I'm an angel or whatever. When you have somebody to challenge that, right? Then Mm -hmm. you can understand, that's how you can grow. Because that's how you understand, all right, bet. This is why I shouldn't do this this way. You know what I'm saying? Because it clearly doesn't work the way I want it to work with somebody else. All right, bet. So that helps me be a better man. Um, Shit. I can go on and on about the positive about you, babe, because you know I love you. You only have one, so yeah, I'm five keep, at least. yeah, I got you. I got you. I mean, you only gave me one, but I got you. I give you five easy. I give you nah, five. because you said I could go on and on. I ain't say that. No, nah, I got you. I want you to go. Now you have to go. Now you said five. I'm gonna give you five easy. Yeah, got you. Got you. All right, so I can't wait to hear. When it comes to um, you know, like spirituality, right? Like, like I feel like just even. Even that, the way we talk, you know what I'm saying? Like, far as Shade, I can't speak for everybody, but you know, like, she definitely, like, challenging my faith all the time. Like, all the time, you know, like, it's be times where, like, I be down about my work. Like, we all know I'm an entrepreneur and things like that. And I just be, like, adding. And sometimes that shit is a lot on your mind. Mm-hmm. I feel like, Alice, you definitely could uh, contest to that. But, like, when you have somebody that's steady saying, yo, like, you got to get your faith up. You feel me? That's dope, right? Like, talking about, like, why I should have faith in God, why I should probably try to talk to God differently, or why I should just Absolutely. change my, my technique at it, right? That makes everything just makes me a better man. Like man, um, talk about accountability. We talk about uh, talk about uh, faith and um, things like that. Talk about nurturing part, right? I see you counting y'all niggas counting and shit. Like niggas is like ah, <laughs> you better eat more. Like ah, I wrote this shit down. Let me go. Nah, nah, I go. I'm joking. You cheated. But nah, so like the the nurturing part, right? Nah, he prepared. That's a beautiful thing. Nah, nah, I ain't I ain't writing nothing down. Don't play, man. That's out the heart. Nah, I like it, Jordy. You know. Yeah. I still like I still ain't no period, but cool. Whatever. That too. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. Baby, no, 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 no. Because when you co- when, not, not, when you say something, when you say something, if I hear period, everybody getting out. <laughs> 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 That's wild about you. That's really wild. Sorry, That's no. really wild so look, about you. No, nah, no, nah, no cap, no cap. So the nurturing part, man, like bro, like literally everything about you, like for real, but I love you. Um, oh, I love you. You too. know, I feel like you are. <laughs> You know, we talked about like the balance of like hypothetically, like the cleaning up things, right? I feel like if we could really come together and and, and work together as like men and women, it would be mm-hmm. so perfect. Because like when it comes to the nurturing part, like Shade is dope. Like it like it ain't shit I can tell her about nurturing, right? We talk about like she can help me like clean better or something like that. I might can help her with like managing her money. But if we put that together, that's the perfect couple, right? Like it's like I don't if you do something, mm-hmm. like if you make a mistake in managing your money. 
be open to to hear me, yeah. right? Just like I need to be open to hearing you if, if I don't come in and I don't, I don't know, fold my clothes the right way, if I don't mm -hmm. wash the dishes on time, whatever, right? Because it's like, that's what you do. Like, not even just as a woman, because I don't want to, because I'm pretty sure it's men that's good in it, but I'm just not as good as it, especially when it comes to nurturing. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like when it comes to nurturing, like, you are able to have these conversations about going back to mm -hmm. God, going back to uh, just like holding me accountable. Like, this all is a, it's nurturing, right? Yeah. Like, I love that. Um, shit, when it comes to... We got three, right? Nah, you got three. Nah, like, you, you, you passed you got five. Like oh, I'm not saying because you know what I'm saying? And I was actually going to chime in. I, I think, I like, I you know, I think we have to get more comfortable with picking up, like, picking up wherever your partner left off. Like, so even even if you feel like it ain't get to a 50, even if it's at 45, 30, it doesn't matter. If you could pick up where your partner left off and understand there's places that they pick up where you leave off, it is such a beautiful thing, you know, like, even, like, this week, like, you know, Jay was saying, like, I'm just not good at this, like, whatever. And I'm like, you know what? But I am. So I'll do that part. You know what I'm saying? Instead of taking it like, well, I'm so good at it. Somebody got to do it for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, but in other ways, somebody will pick up that stuff. But at the same you know time, saying? though, or, mm -hmm. even with saying that, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like knowing that it makes me want to, like, step up even more, right? Because if I, if I mm. see the effort, right? If I see the effort on, on your behalf and I see that you you always want to plan things because that's what you're good at and you know I'm not, so I, that's going to make me want to plan something for you because, like, yo, I see that effort. You don't have to do that. You, yeah. could, you could easily challenge that and be like, yeah, why don't you do something for me? And, but the fact it, that the effort is there makes me want to step up. Exactly, and I feel like it comes with a level of understanding, too, because, like, I'm sure, like, if, you know, there's been times, like, it you know it's it, this is a growth aspect you know we grew mm -hmm. to get here but like there was times where i'm like just like why why but like if you really just slow down your why and really be like you know what let me help like you know what i'm saying it really does make somebody do want to put their foot forward ver versus feeling like rejected because or like down because i can't do something mm -hmm. you so, know what i'm saying so to add to that because y'all both said a lot of positive and talked about like the growth how did you get to shape that perspective? Like what, at what point does you, how do you shape to the, see the positive and how do you get to that point? It was really, tr honestly, it's sometimes like people don't want to admit it, but some things really just take time, like, and get, and taking time to know your partner. Like, you know, in the beginning, it's a lot of pushback and a lot of tug of war because we really don't know each other. Like, but as time goes on and you see things out of your partner, it's like, you know what? This person means, you know, they mean well, like, you know, they really are trying, like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You can't, if they're not good in that area, you can't just put them down for it because they're trying. You got to take and really take in that appreciation for the fact that effort is a big deal because there's a lot of people that don't put in effort, but effort is a big deal. Right. And for me, I feel like this is one of the things I was going to say like that I love about you is is the flaws in itself because mm. the flaws in itself makes you like, I don't know if you're open-minded, right? Like it, it, it makes you understand that, bro, yeah. okay. This is what, what, what they do, and this is why they did it. The same reason I did something and I made a mistake and I didn't mean nothing by it, right? So, like, mm -hmm. that you gotta appreciate the flaws because it's like, I remember, um, one time I'll like, I'll get upset and I had to think, like, damn, people told you the same thing about yourself, or you got upset, you getting upset about the same thing that people come to you and say you do, but you want, you want, um, like, understand, understanding, and I don't know, uh, grace, grace when you do it, but now it's time for you to give grace, it's time yeah. to give. It's time to give exactly what you want yeah. when you see it. And I think that's another part that's what I love about you, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. it's like, it, it, it forces you to level up, right? It forces you to be a better person. Cause it's like, damn, why the fuck you do that? Remember people, somebody just came to you about this. Yeah. Don't right. throw stones if you live in the glass house. So if yeah. you want grace, mm. you better give grace when you got a right. chance, right? And I just, um, sometimes I wish we could have those conversations, but I guess in moments, trying to have that conversation at that particular time, it, it kind of looks like you're trying to put yourself over top yeah. or like pointing a finger when it's like, yo, just acknowledge, like, and that's why we got to do a better job at like, just all of us, like yeah. just acknowledging things when we see it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Or when it happens, not even when we see it, because some things happen and we just don't see it because yeah. we ain't paying attention. And, and I also think like, you know, we're just not perfect. And right. like, you know, when you continuously are down in somebody else for something they're doing, you're almost forgetting the fact that baby you ain't perfect either Wrong your flaws, shit don't yeah. stink Facts. either so it's like how are you coming down on me but if let it be something that you know is bad about you and mm -hmm. you just don't want nobody to come down on you about it because in your head like i already know that about myself like i don't need nobody to keep telling me but you're doing it to somebody else like you know what i'm saying we're just all not perfect and if we just take that understanding in like i'm not perfect you ain't perfect. There's areas that I'm terrible in. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I don't want nobody treating me like that because I'm just bad at something. You know what I'm saying? You ever been just, I'm just not good at it. It's like like being in school and you're really not good at math and your mom is really like, like, I don't know, like I'm extreme, but like just keep beating you because you keep getting an F. 
It's like, mom, I'm just really not good at it. Help me get, you know, give me a tutor. Or I might not like, learn the way that they're trying to exactly, teach me and all of that stuff. Exactly. Maybe it's something yeah. that I'm uh, that's not clicking to me, and I need to learn in another way. But it's like if you take different approaches, like you know, you may really just not be good at this. I can't be mad at you for that. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you might have not been taught that. You might have not, you know, like something that my mom told me that I thought was just fundamental is the first time I kind of heard her say it the other day. She was like, you know, a lot of my life I didn't know a lot of things. I was winging it. Mm. she was like I was really winging it and she was like and it was getting me by she was like but I just now learned so many things that I really just didn't know and it made me just really appreciate the fact that we're just really not perfect you know what I'm saying especially you know you look to your parent who you think is like knows everything and knows all these things and be teaching you all these things but they admit like I there were so many things I weren't I wasn't taught and I didn't know so it kind of made me reflect on myself like you know there's so many things I don't know or there's so many things I'm learning still as a grown big big, my big age i'm still learning you know things so you got to give that same grace to everybody like everybody's just still learning everybody's still trying to figure it out everybody just winging it and i was going to say that was like my number one positive benefit of it all is the vulnerability yeah you know being able to be my transparent self in a relationship and being able to like this is me and we talked about flaws and all that stuff because it all boils down to everything that you said about the Iron, I mean, you know, I'm always talking about iron sharpening iron. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I can't sharpen the iron if I'm not being transparent. You know what I mean? So being able to just unpack myself yeah. with somebody. And it's not going to be all at once. But yeah. knowing that you're growing with somebody and that we have the mission. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Knowing that we have that like-minded mission that we yeah. can build something. So yeah. there's definitely a lot of benefits. There's even yeah. health benefits. Okay. That, that we it. found some that Come I on, found. Come producer Alex. You better get in your bag. relationship. And some of them are, one, it makes you happier. Mm-hmm. It can help you live longer. It can help you age more gracefully. You already say black don't crack, but you now we know why. Saying. You know what I'm saying? Happy wife, happy life. That really okay. does affect uh, it reduces. Happy spouse, happy house. You better not forget you me, man. Ooh, man, you the father's in here. Man. Man. <laughs> The fellas in here, man, like, you can't forget it, about it, us. It look, I, got, I got one for you. Happy dick, happy bitch. Period. Yeah. We know who's who. We know who, we know who his girlfriend is. What is that? <laughs> Period. Like, shit, look. Yo, I think, I think, you know what? I think, <laughs> I think Alex's girlfriend is probably like the opposite of him. Like the same, but like the opposite. Like she, nah, like, she was like, period. Like, yeah, cuz. You feel me? Like, and you know, let's not forget that Alex's girlfriend is a Scorpio. You absolutely. My Scorpio sister. Nine and ten. I call them nine and ten. <laughs> yes. Yep. Nine and ten. <laughs> but more benefits, it reduces stress, which is mm-hmm. interesting. Because we always talk about like, you know, there is some stress within yeah. relationships, but the fact that when they're it. healthy, yeah, it can reduce a lot of stress. It causes, it can prevent a heart attack. It can help you sleep better. But the most important one that I like, and this was the last one, it can help you heal faster. Ooh. Where did you, if you don't mind, did you, um, you kept the site for where you found the benefits from? Uh, it was a health MD, actually. Health MD? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was going to, I was curious. MD, to, health MD. I was curious to, to, to know why. Probably, uh, probably later on, later down the line, we can mm-hmm. discuss that. Um, well, we're going to unpack it. Why do you think these things are benefits? Like, how do you see that applies? Do you see these things and mm. do you feel them within your own relationship? And more importantly, how do you feel like that transition? Because I know in, in the beginning, like, we talked about working out and stuff like that. Yeah. How y'all got held each other accountable and yeah. started working out over the summer when quarantine happened. Mm-hmm. And that was just one way that yeah. y'all sharpened each other. Yeah. Do you feel like there's, within that list... How do you yeah. feel like that that has been implemented within yourselves? I'm gonna go down the list. Um, uh, oh, money. <laughs> um, I feel like it made me happier. Like it, it definitely can make me happier when it comes to like <clears throat> accomplishments. Mm-hmm. Like it's cool to like accomplish something by yourself, right? Mm-hmm. But it's dope when like you got people depending on you and like you are able to accomplish something for us, for the mm-hmm. sake of us. Even when it comes down to a team, but like when you're in a relationship, mm-hmm. is a is a form of a, a team, right? So it's like, yo, when I accomplish something, I not only accomplish it for myself, but I accomplish it for my woman, mm-hmm. for our child. And it's like, mm-hmm. damn, that makes me feel 10 times mm-hmm. happier, right? Mm-hmm. Like, um, For me, I, I definitely think uh, it makes you happier because it just feels good to not always have to go through things alone. Like, you know, I definitely, you know, you know, I, you know, it's one thing like, you know, we all have to kind of face ourselves at a time and we walk through those scary times by ourselves. And even in relationships, some things you are going to have to deal with on your own. You can't mm-hmm. really depend on your person to go through like literally everything you go through with you because some things are internal. You know what I'm saying? Right. But 
just to even deal with like like little things like you deal with death and just to have somebody next to you holding your hand that's a mm -hmm. big deal um dealing with like you know job loss like having somebody to help you if you fall that's a big deal like you know just even like things you, you know you be you mourn over like you know even insecurity sometimes how you like if you Definitely. if you your confidence is low having somebody uh reassure you sometimes is like a big deal like you know what i mean these are all things that can just influence a happier lifestyle you know because you're not going through it alone and i think i always appreciate not having to go through everything by myself because you know jay is a very supportive partner so at the end of the day he he's right here like you know what i'm saying so if i feel like i, I I'm keep turning to me keep turning to god and sometimes you just want to physically see somebody just really hold your hand like that's a big deal to me you know how how else it make make me happy yeah and i feel like all my fellas in here can contest, attest because you know like i don't like none of my cats got ugly girls you know what i'm saying so like yeah. But I was waiting for the period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm gonna get these periods. Like, 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 I'm throwing that in there. I'm, I'm, I'm so big with it. Like, I'm gonna so big. I'm, re like, I'm reaching for the periods. I'm, I'm reaching for the periods. Like, so, like, nah, nah. So, like, I'm fishing. Yeah, I'm fishing for the periods. But, nah, nah, nah. So, like, all my all my cats, like, girls in here look good, right? And, like, all the fellas, nice looking as well. So, what I was gonna say is, I feel like if you're a realist, like, I never think I was gonna say like comment. We on like number ten, you feel me? Like get my flowers. But anyway, yeah. I never compliment. I was gonna say like when you know you with like a, I'm gonna put in a quote say a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like you better recognize it. And it's like yo, like my girl. Like I, I wrote this in my um caption, whatever. You know, like I, I love the fact that you're your own woman, but you chose to be mine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Ooh. with that, it's like she is, she looks good. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I can recognize. I can recognize that she looked good, right? Mm -hmm. And she could be with whoever she wanted to be, I'm sorry. right? She like, chose to be with and me. that's yeah. dope. Like the, to to understand that you can be with whoever yeah. you want to be with. You feel me? But you chose to be with me. That makes that's yeah. that feed my ego times ten. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's another way that make me happy because like you always looking at somebody like, damn, like you chose to be with me. Oh, let me look in the mirror. Like I must be that nigga because you chose you know to be with me. Because you that bitch. You so oh, I'm that nigga. But like, you feel me? Like that's another way it can make it keeps me happy. My, you know what I'm saying? I gotta keep myself up. Yeah, to stand next to you. Know what I'm saying? And that's an that's accountability to stand next though. to you. Yeah, exactly. Because you look so good or you carry it so well that I gotta keep myself up to even right. stand next to you. That's, that's that's a bar right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I drop in. Yes, <laughs> come with it. Come with it. I feel y'all today. You feel what I'm saying? Actually, in fact, if we could do this more often, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love this side of you and Alex. And, you know, I really like when you guys talk highly of women. You know, it's just a beautiful thing. You know, we're not getting bashed. We're in here just existing. And Are we existing bashing women? With you. No. Existing with you guys. <laughs> it's like, I'm just joking. Yes. Um, and um, I just want to. What wanna... about you, Alex? How yeah. make you okay. feel happy here, bro? Come on. Man. What doesn't? I ain't. It's, bro. This a, the list goes too long. It's too long. But just being able to know that somebody's there, you know what yeah. I mean? That, that she's always there. Yeah. But more importantly, what makes me happy is because I'm an emotional dude. Mm. But more importantly, cancer, Alex. She accepts that. You yeah. know what I mean? And more importantly, she she asks for more of it. No. Oh. And it's just like it's points in time when I'm in my head thinking ahead, like, oh man, I shouldn't have said it like that. And I'll get on the phone. And she's like, nah, your feelings are valid. This, that, and the third. I'm like man, I love this girl. Oh, <laughs> like, I love this yes. girl bro. Like nah, and I'm not just yes. saying because you did. Not really. I truly love you. Oh, oh he <laughs> just he pointed toward everything. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a drink. The oh nigga my died, God. The nigga went and heard her say, "I'm not." The nigga. He said, "He said I'm not just saying it because you're there." You got serenade in the moment. You know what I'm saying? He said, "He said it's how you know you mean." So he said, "I'm not just saying it because you're there." Uh huh. <laughs> he looked at his lips. He said, "I really love you." He said, I really love you. But nah. Jay, stop it. The nigga looked at her like, I'm not just saying it. Uh -huh. you, did. you know how like the old school R&Bs be like, R&B singers be like. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, nah. But nah, I'm man. I bust out in a routine. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, okay. Hey, hey I ain't like that. You know, love it. Nigga said, I'll do that love. too. He said, whatever. Like, what? You know, nigga. Nigga. What's that What's that <laughs> Niggas that when niggas in love, they get to dance and this shit. I like that. Hey, bruh. You it's know, cool. It, it changes you. One, I'll tell you that. Love changes you. No, nah, it does. One particular one I really liked out of this list is it can help you heal faster. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so just like, whoo, because I really do believe like what sometimes what like Jay said, what a relationship it mirrors you and it shows you like things you do have to work on and mm -hmm. things that can make you a better person, but you're so stubborn to see it. But until I got here, you probably just, you finally seen it. You finally seen it and it, and it does help you dig deep and you dig deep until you fix something that you don't 
really you never may have realized you were doing, but mm. now you realize it. So it's like now I gotta fix it because it may be making my partner unhappy. And you know, obviously this has been something I might have been struggling with for so long, making other people unhappy, but I don't care until it's somebody I care about. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So mm. now it's like I care about you and it's affecting you and I don't know, my anger or my attitude or my temper is really a problem. And now I don't see it because now the person I care about doesn't want to talk to me or is is cold shouldering me because you don't know how to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Now I got to dig deep. Why do I talk to people like that? Why am I upset about that? Like, why am I bitter about that? Like, why does that bother me? And now I dig deep and I fix it. And I think it does help heal those things that we may never have paid attention to. But now we have no choice but to pay attention to it. Mm. So I, I really, really... I really like that. I'm gonna throw you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Alex. I'm gonna throw you a curveball, right? Mm -hmm. Damn, I can't even throw you a curveball because you really good. With, you really good with this. You help me out with. So this year, right? I've mm -hmm. seen bookings go out of the fucking roof when it came to um Valentine's Day. Like I was trying to book things like a month ago and it was like sold out. From a month ago. Right. So yeah. what are some things that we can do to be more creative with our woman? And when it comes to holidays like this and making them feel special, outside of it being monetary, like how, what are and, some special and, and, things and shit, we can do? Even if it ain't Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? Just how to be creative. Don't get too ahead of yourself. I know, I'm going to get ahead of <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> I'm going to run Good. because I just want to make it very clear that Valentine's Day can be once a month. See? Okay? Uh, it, and it, and, and feel in love, <laughs> feel in love ain't a yearly thing. You get what I'm saying? So to help the fellas, that don't know how to make their ladies feel special on a continuous basis. All right. what you don't have to ways? always right, make it a big deal like Valentine's Day. There's things that you nah, can I ain't gonna do. Say what you better I not say you. the one but, you told me. But, but that is one, though. That is that one. Was fire. But, but that made you think about it. I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it, though. Let's but see. What, what are some things? I feel like it really boils down to knowing your woman, right? Like, for example, my woman is a photographer. She loves taking pictures. So something that may be small or doesn't matter, like going on a trip, you know, going to a mountain or going out on something like could be no money, nothing in there, but she can create content. Mm. It's a part of her brand. So yeah. I feel like it's really knowing who your partner <clears throat> is. It, being creative right. is not hard. It's not every, it doesn't really cost money to be creative. You could have a picnic in the house. Yeah. You could have, you do the girls really appreciate this though? Do they? Now you have to, I can't answer that question. Like, do y'all really, so we I, always I say, I can't answer that you know, question. You know, <laughs> do, you know we, why, do we appreciate? You, you know why I say that? Because you're like, in the, in the, in, in a world full of city girls, like we still like, I feel like, I feel like like all I hear is Real Birkin. Life, bitch, we give a fuck about a nigga. Not even that. All I Big hear is like Birkin, Birkin if the nigga ain't paying for this, if he ain't buying this. So when I hear that, right, just being honest, and it mm -hmm. might be, it might sound like a joke, but just being honest, right? Do they really appreciate? Do they really appreciate that? And it's kind of that conversation. It might be far fetched, but it this is. conversation to me is similar to. You know how they say size don't matter, it's the motion in the ocean that count? That's, that's what they say. Hey, and then like, so when, you, when I hear that conversation, then I hear like, you know, like, is the thought that count? Does the thought really count? Yeah, it's a, the first of all, because one- Well, it's okay. how, how, Does the how thought really count? Think, you know? Yeah, because also he put up city girls. Hey, yo, so, pause. Whoa. All right, pause. Alex ain't just say that. <laughs> how deep did you think? My bad, pause. My bad. <laughs> Hold on. First of all, my bad. Flag on the play. My bad. Hey. Roll that back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Go ahead. First of all, Alex said no. How woman. deep do we get? Really? <laughs> I said well, think. Ahead. I said think. No, I said First of all, Alex said know your woman, and you bring up because it's a bunch of city girls in the world. First of all, if you know your woman and you know she's not a city girl, that doesn't matter because city girls don't run the world. It's all type of genera of women. There's city girls, <laughs> there's lover girls, there's hopeless romantics, there's motherfucking hot girls, there's Beyonce's. Like, it's all different type of women in the world. So just knowing your woman, not a city girl, your woman, because I don't be talking about Bergen. I mean, however, when you do get rich, I am going to... Um, all right, well, so you said, you said um, picnics in the house. Yeah, picnic so the, in the so, house. So, so women still, Ooh, that's cute. so women still like appreciate that. these things. I still want to do a chartreuse board. You feel what I'm saying? I still want to do my little spread. Wait, say it again. Oh, I, I gotta, never know how to pronounce it. I, I never knew how to. Did I pronounce that right? What is I don't it? know. It's when you do your little spread with the wines. You do your cheeses, your your, your tomatoes, Dang. your grapes, your cheeses, your, so, your pepperonis, your salami, you question, your crackers. Man. You know what I'm saying? Give me a little pineapple. Give me a little fruit. You babe, know what I'm saying? Well, me, a little bottle of wine. Give me two wine glasses in the living room. Babe, mm. let me. Babe, babe, babe. Mm. Wait, hold on. Time out. Time I'm going to take notes. 
Time out. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> How we My man Sosa taking a nose over here. <laughs> First of all, shout out to for Alex. Cause he, he even knew what you was talking about. He said, I didn't know that. I pronounced it like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I didn't even know what the fuck you were talking about. Like, Alex, like, I didn't like, know you, you pronounced pronounce it like that. It. And I'm like, I don't even know that word exists. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, did you use the wrong word? <laughs> I'm thinking of a fucking, uh, the board, the shit you make at the beginning of the year. Like, <laughs> hey, yo. A vision board. Hey, I'm yo. This board. <laughs> She said that's your chewy, but I'm like, it. you good? I'm thinking, I was about to say, Lex getting her drunk and shit. Like, <laughs> whole time is me. <laughs> I fucking quit. Hey, yo. Yo, she said that's your chewy, boy. Alex said, I didn't know you pronounced it like that. I'm like, I, I, didn't, even know. I didn't know that was a the word. Nigga and Jay th- thought I was How talking I about a vision. You, but I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> like, ladies, like, I feel like, when all it, com- right, when it well, comes but to. But you know what a picnic is. Yes. And you know what they, what they bring on a picnic typically? Bread. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And what? Lunch meat. There we go. Okay. W- wine. All right. And a blanket. And, and a blanket. blanket. Yeah. Nigga, we got a picnic. You okay, don't even cool. gotta do the chichori so, board. So, I'd appreciate the chichori board, but if but you, how if are you, you gonna appreciate that? No, I don't but, even know what that is. You gotta know your partner. Like, but not, <laughs> can we? Look, you gotta hey, give me a hit. Hold up. You know we a googling podcast. Can we? Yeah, you Google? gotta, te- you gotta te- <laughs> what, what I'm saying, is, like you gotta teach me these things, like and, and, and it's go serious. But you like can still do a picnic. See the thing you know, is, if we if you do the picnic, I might sit down and be like, oh babe, next time you know when we do a picnic, we should do a trip. What's that, babe? Oh, oh, it's cheese, it's grapes, it's pepperoni, it's you know what I'm saying. Then I will break it down. So, but another benefit, C-H-A-U-T- just a segue, China. U T Chachuri. E R C H A U T R. Just pronounce it. I'm pretty sure the problem. Just type in board or something. Like to chew. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wait, no. No. It's a down. Go down. Go down. Yep. 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 Right there. Uh huh. Go. Go down the board. Yep. There you go. Do images. I wouldn't even know how to pronounce this. Do images. Look. 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 Charcuterie. I've been charcuterie. Charcuterie. It's, char- it's charcuterie, so Char-keisha. I was pronouncing wrong. I thought so. All right, so, so now, nah, so what I was gonna say is honestly, when it come when it come to these situations, I feel like you know, um, I'm definitely down for that, right? Yeah. But if I can ask, right, for some help, like if you can give me some hints, maybe. Oh yeah. And if I don't okay. pick it up, then you could be upset. Okay. I'm just saying, just at least give me some hints. Okay. However, my question was, throughout all these dope things that we can do and be creative, does, and this is for for mm-hmm. you, honestly. Does the thought really count? Mm-hmm. And how far, and where do we draw that line from thought and paper? What you mean paper? Nigga, money, the moolah, the dollars, the cash, so, okay, okay, the Okay, so here's the thing. The thought does count, but if you want to give me the money, it counts just as much. I mean, it does, like, they both go hand in hand because I'm going to need the money to go get the chart coochie board. That so, shit, that shit ain't cheap. So, the thought, so, 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 the thought, so, so what are some things that we can do again what are some creative things that we can do as men that we don't need no money honestly though um creative things i mean so i'm not gonna lie and you know i used to like you know how it used to be like you know like you know do a movie night in the house cook dinner like you know museums are free museums are free museums ain't even open no no they're open somewhere okay in some capacity yeah Exactly. Like, but like, you know, you, one Lex. thing I like, like for you, cup. you said like your girl is a photographer, take her to places that she like content. Girls love pictures, period. Mm. They love these type of places in general. I don't even think you have to be a photographer. So like, I think most women love aesthetically pleasing places. Mm. Like a walk around a good park is still a good, like, that's what I was going into, you know, before is like, you know, we could do a movie night. We could, you know, get a bottle of wine, watch movies. But, you know, in a pandemic, we're in the house way too much. Nobody wants to do a movie night. I'm mm. sorry. That's the normal. We're doing that all the time now right. every night's a fucking movie night however every day is not a day that we go walk around a aesthetically a pleasing park like you know what i'm saying just doing a little research like even when i go on hikes I, I don't know all those off the top of my head i go search up nice hike places in maryland okay get there okay they get me to virginia only hike trails in virginia okay mm. they got the boom then i go look at the pictures i go see which one looks good oh you know what this one got a waterfall my girl likes you know this might be nice she might like this we could go take a nice hike or a walk around a waterfall trail Girls love that conversation, intimate time. You know what I'm saying? It's just you and I outside nature. I mean, who doesn't love stuff like that? Even if it's not outside, like another one is, you know, I think a lot of times people underestimate things like cooking with your partner. It's like, Mm. okay, like, Mm. oh, you know, I'll, you know, I'll cook dinner, but like, let's cook together. Let's try a new dish together. Like, 
Let's, I always wanted to, I don't know, do a stuffed chicken. Let's, let's try to figure out a new recipe for that. And let's do it together in the kitchen. <clears throat> Baby, you put on an apron. I put on an apron. You get the flour. I'm getting chicken. We throwing flour at each other. I don't fucking know. But that way, you know, if, if they don't come out correctly, it's we can blame each other. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I can't look at nobody. I mean, but something else, don't be looking at else? me like, that hey, is this chicken a little dry. I, hearing all of this, that's a benefit, is the experiences. Mm. It opens Ooh, up a, new, a door to a new world that you mm. may not have experienced and, before. And bitches love experiences. We love an experience. Okay, no, this makes sense. I was just curious because I wanted to know, like, because I know sometimes we be struggling with, like, finances. Yeah. And sometimes we just be tired. Like, man, I'm trying to get my pockets a break. And we might need some We might need yeah. some ideas to get creative. Yeah. Get creative. Sure. Because, I mean, uh, again, like, giving your po pockets a break, I still think there's multiple things. Like, even, like, you thought of a vision board. Baby, let's make a vision board. Let's not wait to go to a vision board party. Let's do it together. We can do a, a vision board in March. Yeah. Why not? You could do it whenever you want to. You can have to. a mid-year update, vision board. You update can update it. your yeah. goals every fucking month. Like, you could go get magazines for free. Anytime you would appreciate this. Yes, it's the thought that counts. Like, that time, it's like, oh, you thought about it. You went and got the magazines. You went and got the board. You brought the markers out. I didn't have to go think of none of that. That's dope. So the thought actually counts. Yes. And the size does matter, though. I mean, size matters. Size matters to me. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't it's know not about, the motion of the ocean. Uh, people, you know, I think, but I need both of them. <laughs> I need the size and the motion in the ocean. So you need everything. Yeah, and I feel like I'm. So you need a Birkin. And, you need the Birkin and the thought too. If 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 you're in a place to get a Birkin, now if you're not in a place, no. Like, but if you become mm. like rich, yeah. So what about like, how do you feel about when your partner is? You know, your partner is going outside of their capabilities to try to impress, like. What do you think about that? Do you think about that? Do you okay. think about that? Yeah. So is this a I, thought that even crossed yes, your mind? I do. I, I do. So, so here. <laughs> Man, I love you, girl. <laughs> so what I will say that I, I feel like men underestimate women sometimes. We know exactly what the fuck y'all think. And we know how far it goes. We know if y'all don't know this, we don't know that. But it doesn't mean you do not try. And I think that sometimes she men... pushing a button. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I think that sometimes men be like, well, I'm just not good at that, so I'm not even going to try. No. Like, you still could try to do light things because although you may not be good at it or you don't know what to do, you know something. You're not, you're not completely clueless. Mm. You know something. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's still the same. So speaking of gifts, babe. Yeah. Oh, boy. Question. I don't think this is going to stay very uh, positive. <laughs> so, babe. Yes. How would you feel? No, that's probably not a good question for me. You can ask Alex. That question right there? Yeah, you can ask. <laughs> that the first one? Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Sade. <laughs> How would not you feel? Miss. But no, nah, I mean, I feel like because I, I really can't answer that question. So Ms. I think. No, nah, but uh, honestly, though, how do you feel about receiving like gifts from, you know, your baby father and something like your baby mother or gifts from why you're in a relationship right. you gotta ask me that how do you feel about yeah that? If, so. if i got a gift from my baby father all right so it's like nah can uh, i give a little background on this no you want to get some bit. background no Go no ahead. no so like basically on the radio on, there's been a scenario about a husband who gifted his wife and his baby mother the same gift and the wife was upset about it the same gift the wife was upset about it but it sparked the conversation, like, because the, the husband was like, well, I just give all the women in my life a gift on Valentine's Day. Like, you know, the daughter, the mother, the aunt, the the baby mom, the wife. The you know what I'm saying? So he was like, I was just making my rounds. I picked up the same gift. Now, I don't grow on the same gift. However, the question of does it matter if your child's parent gives a Valentine's Day gift to the child's parent? So um, for me... I'm gonna be. We talking about so vulnerability, right? So if I gotta give, because it's Valentine's Day, what you thinking? So I mean, I would. Like even if it was just flowers, like I said, all the ladies flowers. Yeah, I probably would still feel away just because I'm a nigga. I'm gonna yeah. be honest, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it hundred, but I probably wouldn't say anything. I'm gonna be truly transparent. I feel like, and the same thing, vice versa, right? For let's talk about uh, more. Um, let's expand it to Father's Day, right? So like. Sade is going to wish, like, you know, Amaya Pops a, a happy Father's Day. Should she fuck around, give him a, a, a card or something? Or let's say even a gift. No, probably not in her, her situation. But I know other, I feel no, like in other say. situations, I say if y'all co-parenting and things like that, you probably, 
want to look out for the for the father of your child or whatever, right? right. I think I definitely feel a way, but at the end of the day, I understand. So I feel like there's a difference between feeling a way because you're human and you have emotions and then acting on those feelings, right? I feel like it's, it's, it's normal to feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be your everything almost, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, Why but I'm not. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not your daughter's biological father, like, period. So it's like, you're going to, I would hope that you chose somebody respectable enough to say, Happy Father's Day or give him a gift yeah. or whatever the case may be, right? Same thing vice versa on Mother's Day. Like, I would hope you chose to lay down with somebody. But Valentine's Day. Yeah, but Valentine's and I'm saying, so I'm just kind of trying to make the correlation. I feel like in that situation, if, I don't know, like, it depends. Like, you might want to show your daughter that, yo, no matter what, this is this is how it's supposed to, this is how your mother's supposed to be treated, right? Mm -hmm. I don't understand mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel away. But as long as it's not past that, then I'm not going to react on my yeah. emotions. But to answer the question, if I will feel away, hell yeah, I feel like anybody would. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but just even the next question, right? Are you only supposed to give the person you're dealing with a Valentine's Day gift? So if I gave my mom's a Valentine's Day gift, you upset? No, hold okay. on, hold on, not again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, So, so the same hold on, hold on, hold on. The same gift, that's weird. But what I will say is Valentine's Day. I don't think there's nothing wrong with gifting your mom something on Valentine's Day. Okay, so what you think there's something wrong with? Um, I gift my daughter things on Valentine's Day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I, I do that because I need her to understand that love isn't one dimensional. Like mm. you can, like, you know, I think she deserved to feel special too. Now, mother is one thing. Now, if you was gifting your friends, don't bring him no more. Um, <laughs> sight, <now. laughs> it's fine. Like, I guess. I, I guess. But now, if you was gifting like your best friend, I'm gonna. I don't give a fuck. Like, what are you doing? Are you ridiculous or what? Yeah, you know, niggas love besties. So, what you about to say, Alex? Wait, what? Wait, where did that come from? Bitches know. They know. Niggas love their best friends. So what? you know, I don't know where this came from. All I'm saying is, like, you know, niggas love their best friends. Like, if you gifting your best friend flowers on Valentine's Day because she's single and she's been crying about being lonely, I'm definitely gonna like, what if she does she, she doesn't have a nigga, so she doesn't get any flowers. Period. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying that's what you know. Somebody I know. All right. So, felt that. so um, what about vice versa though? Do you do you think so? That like, she if, should only be able to give like if like if like I don't know. People were sending me flowers. Just on Valentine's Day, like happy Valentine's same Day. Same thing. Why the fuck you send her flowers? But at the same time, I probably don't say this out loud. I probably be like, you know what? It is. As long right. as it don't, yeah. As long as it don't go across the line mm -hmm. of gifting or like S something like that. So basically, you're really only supposed to give your partner a Valentine's Day gift. That's what I think. Like yeah. honestly, because it's like some niggas should be fishing. Like you might have a, a homeboy or something like that or a friend, and it's like, yo, I'm gonna just keep up my bed and um, I'm gonna sing with these flowers. Uh, yo, yo. Where's this coming from? It's like. The nigga mind. We just nah, you know, sound like shit, for like it's like sharp, it was bro. a girl's mind, and I was getting. Where is that coming from? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give you these. I'm gonna just give you these roses, and you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check on you, see if your date, yo, yeah, uh, you and your, you and your nigga, y'all had a good time. I'm glad, like I'm happy for you. Hey, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like he got you anything? Yeah, he probably throw it in there another way. Like yo, he ain't gonna ask you. He ain't gonna ask you if he got you anything. He gonna be like yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I hope y'all uh, Valentine's Day was lit. You know what I'm saying? Like praying for y'all things like that. Because if something went wrong, he know you're gonna be like, man, let me tell you how this nigga. And you're gonna be like, damn, but just give him another try. Just, it, I'm pretty sure he ain't mean nothing by. Did you get those flowers? Did you get those flowers I sent you? Niggas is yeah, yeah. I handpicked those myself. So, on top of that, as crazy. far as Valentine's Day goes, if you're in a relationship, should you ask your girl to be your Valentine? For what? You already my Valentine. Hmm. So I had a friend. I told you you was you 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 were, you were a beautiful woman of your own uh -huh. that chose to be with me. You my Valentine. Period. So you my, my Valentine every day. That's what you're saying. You my Valentine. You my Valentine every day, every day of, the, of the week of the month of the year. Period. Period. <laughs> so I have a so I have a friend and you know I was on the phone with her on Monday and my friend was like my boyfriend got till Friday to ask me to be his Valentine. They probably just like, got together or something. They did just get together. Yeah. But, together. but they're together. But I thought it was funny because she was like, nah, the nigga dead ass better ask me to be his Valentine. Like, I'm dead serious. And I was like, she, she just I be, thought it was funny. She so. want to feel special because. Nah, I ain't going to lie, though. I asked, I asked my girl to be my Valentine. Oh, my God. I'm, not, I'm keeping it honey. I ain't going to say it just for the second. She can tell you. Another question. That's because y'all just got together. Shit, like. Oh, it's premature shit, man. Like, come on, man. But okay, but, okay so the when it first hold on, Alex, hold on. If it's premature, when we first got together, you ain't asked me to be your Valentine. Cause we got together on the day before Valentine's Day, and I was in the box by twelve o'clock by Valentine's Day. But you mean you were screaming out, "Be my Valentine!" Like you talking about, like. 
We already knew what was up. Shit, you told me get the condoms. Like, it was lit. I'm just saying, no. Babe, don't act. You said you ain't asked me to be your man. Because I ain't had to. Because by the time I was pulling out the right hand, you was like, get the condoms. It was like that. I was about to get you. I, I was about to get you the teddy band of roses. You was like, what the fuck is teddy band of roses? I want I want condoms. I'm like, bet. I got you magnums for uh, Valentine's Day. Use my Valentine. <laughs> magnums for Valentine's Day? Listen to this. To, uh, cool. Yeah, we think cool. we, we thinking deeply, bro. Cool. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> Jay on a thousand today. Jay on a thousand. And I mean it like no more I'm not drunk, drink. though. It should taste like lemonade. I was going to actually give me an extra shot, but like... But nah, man. Um, <laughs> so, babe, would you like me to ask you to be my Valentine? What do I need you to know? But I mean, now that I, now that Alex said he did, oh, why you ask me? Because see, this that's comparison this, is the theme and of this, joy, bro. And this what happens when you compare because somebody else come in and be like, bro, yeah, I asked my girl to be my Valentine, and now she like, we ain't the same. We different people. You know what I'm saying? Like, let us be different. Then they, that that situation is different. You ever take science class? And I be telling you this all the time. When you take science class, you have a have an experiment. Experiment. You got to make sure all the variables are the same. And in this experiment, the variables ain't the same. They just got you, together, so you. we can't compare to <laughs> okay, the two. Okay, you know what well, saying? I guess I ain't getting X. It's the gem today. Ain't, <laughs> I guess I ain't getting X to ever be his Valentine. I just know. Period. I got a oh, question. Yeah. I'll make sure okay. I ask you next year. Is it, a, is it acceptable for women to ask men to be their Valentine? Of course. Why not? Because you're not doing... What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. You said we don't need to ask. Then you said, but ask me. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. That, <laughs> that, that be niggas for me. I'm going to speed you up. I'm going to speed you up in, in case you lost it. It be the audacity no, I'm, for me. Listen, babe. Listen, I'm going to show you the notes. Just in case you lost the message, man. I'm going to tell you. So I what happens shit. is... I'm going to show you the listen, notes. Hold, hold, hold. I'm going to show you the notes in case you lost the message. Listen, listen. If, 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 in case, listen. Whenever you expect something, I will hope you give that. So if you expect, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So when you, when you, when you, when you, <laughs> when you listen, so like if you want me to, has gone crazy. if you want me to be your, if you want me to ask you to be my Valentine, yeah, go out on a limb and ask me because okay. again, don't expect nothing from lead, me. That, lead, lead by example. Exactly. Lead by example. I, I got you. I got you. I heard you. I heard you. Lead by example. Okay, period. Let's get to the shits. Let's okay. get to the shits, man. Where we at? Let's Where we get at to with the it? Shits. Where we at with it? Where we at with it? We got um Gorilla Glue. Oh man. Girl. Sheesh. All right, so uh it's a new update about go Gorilla Alex, Girl. Go ahead, Alex. So if you've been under a rock the last two weeks. Literally you haven't been on rock. social clearly. Uh Tessa Brown, aka Gorilla Glue Girl, is a woman who acts I don't know, accidentally on purpose. Use Gorilla Glue and glued the shit out of her hair flat. Uh, <laughs> she since <laughs> she since gotten <laughs> her hair out, like you know, she she definitely they got it out. Somebody volunteered to get the glue out of her hair, but initially there was like some type of speculation because I mean a huge outroar because she's suing allegedly, uh, suing Gorilla Glue for false advertisement, essentially not putting the right <laughs> ingredients and letting it, the, the user know that is the adhesive is as strong as it is huh it's a metal yes it's a metal yes mm -hmm. but um so recently the new update is essentially that tessa brown is now donating because there was a gofundme that raised over 24 million dollars 24 thousand i'm sorry twenty four thousand dollars for her and she is now donating it to a uh, charity so when, let's get to the, the case first right so i was i was waiting this because i think she can win this this lawsuit i feel like she can get a settlement i'm gonna tell you why because when it first happened, remember when everybody was laughing at the meme or the message, the tweet that uh, Gorilla Group put out mm -hmm. when they said um, our products are not used for the hair. And then after that, I feel, I feel like um, it was a statement that, that came out that said that, that he was about to put that in the ingredients. The moment they did that, I oh, feel like it, they, they, they made they said that they was going to put um, it's not for your hair. They was going to change their label. So the moment they did that, I feel like. That, that made, created a slippery slope for them. That created a slippery slope because, like, okay, if it's not in your ingredients, then I wouldn't know, right? Like, it's some people that will say, like, what is um, I hate when it happens. What, whatever. Like, people say I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just going to notice, right? Like, mm -hmm. like if if, if common it ain't sense, ain't always common. Exactly. Thank you. You you the fucking one. <laughs> a lot of people don't believe in common sense, honestly, right? So they say common sense ain't ain't as common as you think, right? Mm -hmm. So what I would say is. 
if she really didn't know any better, not saying that she did, but we can't, who, who are we to say that she did or didn't, right? If she didn't, if she didn't know any better. Everybody's in a, she's 40. Right. But if, if, if I just she, seen some dumb ass 40 year olds. I ain't right, gonna say like, if, but. If she didn't know any better, Wait, right? It, it, it's, it's like, okay. I feel like she can win a if settlement. she didn't know Wait, any she better, 40? but it's set, she's, she's 40. 40. Bro, I thought she was like 17 or 18. No, I'm saying she looked like she was like 18 or something. Black don't crack, bro. We already said that earlier. She must but, be in a healthy relationship. But okay, so where this <laughs> me is... <laughs> she must... <laughs> Not, I would have. I'm just saying. What do you mean? That was no, good. Because if she, that no, was good. But that was no fire. more cocktails. We're cut off. So, but the thing is, it says not for skin. Is that your, not your scalp? But your hair. If, if she put it on her ponytail, that's not her scalp. It's this, that's her we got a, scalp. a hairless uh, hairstylist here. Scalp. But if you've got a ponytail, make sense and I'm putting, I'm just thinking, I'm just saying. Hold up, I'm just bringing it down from. I'm giving you uh, another perspective, right? I'm playing devil's advocate. If, if it's a ponytail, if I if I have a ponytail, right, and my ponytail is over my head, which is over my scalp, I'm thinking if I spray my ponytail, then it won't get on my let scalp. Me ask you, is it a liquid? Is it a liquid? Hold on. Is it a liquid? Huh? Is it a liquid? It's a spray. Is it a liquid, though? No, it's a spray. Is the spray a liquid? No, it's a spray. Why isn't a spray It's a mist. What's, it's air. It's, it's mist? Yeah, what a is spray. Mist? What is mist? Yes, water, but... Okay, so if you put water in your hair, where's it going to seep through? But, your scalp. Does that make no, sense? No, but if I... So if I, put, if I put a spray on my jacket, it's not going to seep through my jacket. No, Jay, but it can, though. It can. If your jacket is thin enough, it can. Your hair is thin enough for it to seep through. But that if my hair sense. is thick, I mean... No! Like, and, and, and that doesn't work... <laughs> That's what all and I'm that saying. And that hair was not thick. So, okay, so I got well, a question. I'm just saying, and in her defense, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, in her defense, if you don't know, like, if, like just like I can make the argument of not, I, not, no, I not thinking that would have went to my I, scalp. I get what you're saying. However, I just feel like that opens up a door for people to just continuously do dumbass shit. Because if I'm going to use something that's made for furniture and a product that's not cause. That's not cosmetic. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not in a cosmetic line. If it was listed under cosmetics and it says don't put on your skin and you still put on your hair, I can see that better. But it's not even in the cosmetic line. It's it's, it's literally for metal, guess what? for wood, but guess for what? couches. That's not even in the but guess same what? realm. Like, that's stupid. But guess what? I, I understand that, though, but I feel like so many people, it's tricks to everything. I'm pretty sure it's but things it that- But it mean you're supposed ho- to do it, up, But hold up. It's, but, it, but they work, though. like a hack. It's you things, think it's a hack? No, it's things, it's things that, like, it might be- it might. It might be things that um people do in a hairline, right? That they that, that they not supposed to do in a hairline. That works. And they would and they will probably but, get in trouble. But no, for example, like even even in let's say mechanics, right? So the other day when I was getting my car fixed, I never knew this. And some people would say you should know that. When I, I needed antifreeze, the uh the mechanic put water in there, right? I would have never known that because mm-hmm. water isn't in. That's fine, but if you go take it to your car dealership and it fucked up your car dealership, I'm like, well, you shouldn't put water in it. It's not ma- water. That's not what it's for. No, they, I get like, that. They're not gonna, but I'm just like, saying, certain hacks that work back though. And be like, here, I'll get you another car because you put water for in example, it. And it up. For example, for example, for example, erasers ain't in the in the hold up. For example, erasers aren't in the earring line. But I know sometimes if you lose a back of your but earring, you, you gonna get, use an eraser. Like, you, come but on. Hold like, on. But if you use an eraser and you get it, hold on. If your air gets infected, if your air. If your ear gets infected and you go to a uh, and you go sue the air racer company, they're gonna be like, right, "Baby, that ain't for but your ear." Else? Guess what else? That's, but I'm, like, that but guess make what sense. else? Like, like, like toothpaste isn't in the acne line. But if you have a bump on your face, they always say put but some toothpaste on it. But if you get a skin it. disease, so, you can't go glue. You can't go sue the toothpaste because it doesn't belong on your face. All I'm saying, no. All I'm saying what is, what are you talking about? No. All, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, that doesn't even make sense. No. All I'm saying is, is things that we do, that's unconventional. That that, that we works. Have to so I'm just stop, saying. Stop though. It's not. It's not. Doesn't mean promote it because if once if she wins a lawsuit that promotes if I use an earring back and I get an no, earring infection, now I can go school the no, eraser listen, company. Like that. Hear me out. I'm not though. promoting it. What that. I'm saying is we can't we can't sit up here and judge this girl because she didn't know. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying. I ain't judging her. I'm just saying as far as the lawsuit, like y'all said she was 40. She shouldn't known better. No, I didn't say that. That's not what I said. I I'm just saying. I think she. I think it's very much dumb. I think it's dumb. So when you I'm say not, it's dumb, I'm saying let's opinion. not judge her. That's an opinion of mine. And, and and that's just my, if you want to call it judgment, that's fine. However, that's my opinion. You get what I'm saying? I'm not deeming her as such. I'm just saying my opinion is dumb as fuck. Like, however, I'm saying as far as the company, 
if you open that door, you're opening that door everywhere. And I just don't think they're going to allow that to happen because do you know how many, like you said, people are using things for hacks all over the place. I just seen a girl use hair dye to tint her eyebrows. Realistically, if she gets a skin disease because you put that on your face, she can't go sue the hair company because they're going to be like, baby, that's for your hair. I see hair. girls using Isn't makeup for the cover I, their I, lace front all I, the time. And I, and like, I understand that, but if they get an infection, if they get an infection. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to go up there. But And you're right. And, and that's my point. You, but you're gonna say she's not. But she shouldn't. She shouldn't. Know, she doesn't know. But you no, know that. No, I'm. I'm but, I just work hard. Dumb for that because it she's works. She's dumb. However, what I'm saying is, as far as the company, I don't know. I personally don't think it's gonna stand because if you open that door, you're opening it for everybody. And if everybody can come sue companies because they chose to take a hack to do something, then baby, everybody's going broke. Okay, mm. and that's and that's just my opinion. So, question. <clears throat> You said you think she could settle. If I you were to settle, what do you think? Like, what's the price point? What's she suing for? That hasn't. It's, they haven't put Mind out a you, number. Mind you, she got it removed for free, and the the procedure was twelve thousand dollars. They did it for free. Shout out to her the hair doctors. is free. Her hair is a black doctor at that. Shout out to them. Shout out you to know, them. Sure. I don't know what's going to consist of her hair in a couple weeks. I don't know what's going to happen to her hair follicles. However, you know she did get the procedure done for free. Uh, so what do you think they should be giving her now since she got the procedure done for free? So, I and mean, again, so asking if I think she should get anything and asking do I think she will get something is two different things. Like, do I think so? I feel like, you know, you got the 20 bands. I feel like you should have kept the $20,000. You should have appreciated the... Uh, the shit. She, I think she got like a million followers now. You, she got verified. She got the procedure done for free. Like me, I would have just took what I got. I wouldn't try to sue nobody. However, I do think that if she's suing for... A number that they would settle for, a number probably not what she's asking for, right. but for a lower number, just because I think the company already put out that they was going to change their label. I think that's just my opinion. Again, I'm not a lawyer or a fucking judge or anything. I have no idea, but that's just my opinion. I think she would get some type of settlement. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. Like, I'm just sorry. Like, that was stupid. I just don't think it's fair to call it stupid because, again, because we do things like you said. Even if you got an ear ear infection for putting an ear for putting an eraser on the back of your ear, you wouldn't have thought you would have got an ear infection because it never happened. And no offense. And no offense. No offense. My mama taught me not to do that. But that's just my opinion. Right, but your mama, see? So how is it dumb if your mama taught you not to do it? Bro. So why would your mama so have you to go, teach you So how... you go brush your teeth with but the why fucking would your bathroom mother... cleaner then. No, And why... tell me that it's going to make your teeth whiten. No, but Because why... it whitens the bathroom toilet, but, the toilet seat. But listen. Go take the thing. Your mama, okay, so you telling me if your mama said, your, if your mama said, Jay, don't you brush your teeth with that bathroom cleaner just because it turns the toilet seat white and it's not gonna do the, and it's not gonna do the same for your teeth. If you your mom has to say that for you know to know that just because it whitens the teeth mm. that you you heard somebody say, nah, put it on your teeth, it'll make your teeth white. Nah. And you're gonna go put the bathroom cleaner on your fucking teeth. Like but again, no, all I'm gonna say you're is, not gonna do it. Even I'm, if your mama told you not to do that to do it, you know, like I ain't putting that shit on my teeth. That's just gonna burn my gums. It never burned your gums before, but you're just gonna assume that. Something's gonna happen, no? No, I'm not. I tried to tell you no like five minutes ago. All you just right, kept going. Sure. But I was saying, no, I'm not gonna think that. I wouldn't do that. But again, common Why sense. Why would you do it? I'm trying to tell you, like, yeah, damn, common sense <clears throat> isn't so common because again, like, if somebody who lives in a place where there's no cars, he don't think when he come here where his cars to stop and look for the cars because he's never experienced crossing the street. So when we talk about I, I break it down in in, in layman's terms because again, like common sense i'm talking about common sense common sense is before you cross the street you look both ways right that's common right, sense that's common but sense. For, for, for somebody who stayed somewhere where there was no cars that existed or whatever they didn't have to look they didn't have to look both ways before crossing the street when they come here they might not understand that again like what's common for example common sense to you is i don't know if you have a baby it's, 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 it's a lot of things that could be common sense with having a child mm -hmm. to you because you got a child you had a child mm -hmm. for 10 11 years mm -hmm. right so that's common sense to you mm -hmm. for somebody who hasn't have a, had a baby and hasn't experienced having a baby what's common sense to you might not be common sense to them that's all i'm saying so i'm never going to judge somebody for a mistake that they made that's it i'm not that, that's, again that's that's, 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 that's all I'm and saying. that's and that's fine i just feel like if if we're using a baby i don't have to have a baby to know that damn I ran out of dishwashing soap, so I'm going to wash my kids' soap in fucking bathroom cleaner. Like, I like that doesn't make sense. I don't have to have a kid to know, like, chemical is chemicals. Like, have you, ever, you went to science class, you, you ever, know that there's certain things that you cannot use on in, in your system, on your face. Like, that's like me going to wash my face in fucking potent-ass floor cleaner. Question, and, oh, because it's going to cleanse my face because it ever, cleanses the floor. Question, like, question. I just know not to do certain but, shit. Like, but it's certain not, things we don't. No, so, for example, have you ever have you ever goggle, goggle with uh, peroxide? 
No, I haven't actually. I have because I was taught that that actually cleans cleans bacteria okay. and help, like so. For example, before I learned that, I never I never would even think to do some shit like that because I would think it's but, common sense not to, to put be that. But to be honest, but to be honest, a peroxide is an antibacterial. See, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, when it comes to the gorilla glue, there's nothing in that that's there's nothing in there that is cosmetic. So how do you, you like how does that supposed to use for my hair? There's nothing that's in my gel that's in the fucking the gorilla glue there's nothing in my hairspray you know what i'm saying and even i mean it still, is glue that's no, the common denominator no because glue's not in my hair products so it's not the, the shit y'all use the glue y'all tracks in is not but glue it's in not, it? it's, it's called glue but jay it's not the same come on it's not there's it's not, an, it's I'm an adding, adhesive it's like know. an adhesive i'm it's asking the same thing it's not the same everybody knows adhesives like just because you can mix certain things that make this you can mix that one thing with something else and it makes something completely different mm. that doesn't even make sense that's what i'm saying like that's fine you ain't gotta call her stupid I think this shit is dumb. I think like, I don't know what in her mi right mind. To me, if you ask me, Shorty was smoking on that pokey low. I don't fucking know. Cause that shit, that shit don't make no goddamn sense to me that you would fucking put gorilla pack. glue that's for metal. Like we're talking about something that holds together fucking metal. Do you mean to tell me that I could take my pipes if they bust and use the same spray and it fucking and no water's gonna bust through that bitch? You're crazy. And I'm gonna put it on my hair. Ain't no slick ponytail in the world worth <laughs> that motherfucking gorilla glue, bitch. So you got pipes that's busting. I'm sorry, I'd rather go you natural. Put gorilla glue on like, where it. were yeah. you going that was so important that you needed that pony that slick? Like, baby, just take the pony out if this that serious. She was, she wanted it. Like, so where question. were you going? Never so let me mind. ask you this. Never mind. So let me ask you yeah. this. Let me ask you this. If you knew, <laughs> on the other side, right? If you if knew that your hair would grow back, you would get a free procedure, you would get a million followers, you would get $25,000 on the front end, and all you had to do was put some gorilla, gorilla glue on your ponytail. Would you do it Wait, or not? If I knew, if I if I knew ahead of time, if you knew, <laughs> if, if, you, if, if, you knew I, if I knew ahead of time that I was gonna get verified, almost a million followers, twenty four thousand dollars, and a free removal. And your hair was gonna grow back though. And my hair was gonna. Well, baby, buy me a new wig with the twenty four thousand because I'm on my way. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming. It ain't so dumb now. Nah, cause I know I know I know what I'm getting. I know the risk and reward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know the reward. I'm not gonna just do it. I don't know no money coming in. Oh hell no! I ain't She's gonna be a girl, girl for the rest winner. of her life. <laughs> Shit, you got niggas out here swallowing bleach like and getting no money. No, no money. Just doing it because the president said so. I put some the old glue on my shit. Man. Nigga Twenty five. Nigga gonna be walking down here looking like Johnny Bravo. You gonna, you gonna get mad endorsements off that? Like you know what I'm saying? Like the gorilla boot. Nigga, yo, think about this. Get how many how many wig companies about to hit her up? Like yo, wear my wig not for free. Yet. You know what I'm saying? Like not, shit. That's what I said. If I would have knew, she's about to get mad. Like the thing is, now that she's verified, she has the following. Yo, hair companies are gonna pay her to try their shit, wear their shit. She about but to that's get why I feel like she that's why I said sue. the twenty four thousand wasn't a hit for her because she, she's just gonna get. And she probably got a million dollar endorsement right now. Like, yo, if you wear my hair for six months straight yeah. to prove that your hair is going to grow back, I'm going to give you a million, million dollars. It's going to make them so much more so money. So fuck that 24000 like, uh, but, like but Had I known before, I would have did it. You know what I'm saying? But that's why people think she, you know, it was for clout. Cause, but I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't have calculated that in my own head. Yeah, like, so, like I would have had some guarantees, like write it in paper. Am I going to get the 24000 niggas 000? killed themselves for verified? clout. You think niggas won't put fucking Gorilla Glue in their hair? Yeah, clout I mean, didn't somebody dangerous. try? Niggas is killing themselves for clout. Like, man, yeah. clout is a motherfucker, man. Damn, shorty is verified. What we at, Ali? Shit popping. Last topic, man. Chappelle show, man. Chappelle show. Chappelle show is now back on Netflix after Dave Chappelle recently, I mean, is returning to Netflix after Dave Chappelle had asked him to take it off because CBS Viacom wasn't paying him or within a contract, he wasn't going to get any type of return on the streams. But after getting the response, essentially, they... they came to an agreement and now it's back as a creative though how significant is that to you so for me it's fire so at first at first i wasn't really thinking nothing of it and then i sat down and i thought about it and like for me it's fire in so many ways right now I'll break it down it shows how much of an impact you really have like fuck followers like we always in a world full of fucking instagram we always talk about followers and this blue check that shit don't mean nothing if you have don't have an impact mm -hmm. but this showed exactly how much of an impact he had because he said yo this is what we're going to do. Don't watch that shit. 
My own show. You know what I'm saying? Right, saying my this, show. This is what we're going to do. Don't watch that shit. They can keep it up there. Don't watch that shit. And guess what niggas want to do? They didn't watch that shit. Mm-hmm. That shows the impact. Another thing is, he said like he also got his millions. That All this shows you how special he is as a creative, right? And as, as a visionary and just as a talent. Because like for that to happen, that gives me hope. And like you know what? like We do have a say, right? Because we don't see these things happen yeah. often. Yeah. So for them to be like, you know what? Here's your show. Here's, Here's your, your money. money. Go about your day. That means that clearly that they either have a heart, which I wouldn't believe because fuck these companies. Facts. Or they're just scared that he can yeah. ha- he can have he a bigger impact, impact than what he really had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's why it's dope for me. Yeah. I think it's dope too because like even just, I think it's just another thing is creators just knowing their worth mm-hmm. because, you know, a lot of times, you know, people are going to lowball you as you get bigger. They are going to try to take the the majority of what you actually created and they're gonna hope you're dumb enough to fall for that and the fact that Dave Chappelle just knew nah take the fucking show down don't watch it I don't give a damn like I'm good like you know what I'm saying I know my worth and if y'all not gonna pay me my money fuck it fuck the show fuck y'all and I just thought that was so monumental as not only just a black creative but somebody being able to stand up for themselves in that way you know I think it's just a lesson even for us to know like, you know, when we are at those spaces, like, yo, we don't have to settle for just anything just because people got the money and say so. Like, we really can say no thank you. And either way, somebody either is going to give us back what we deserve or they're going to come back and, and give us what but, we deserve. And that's another thing I was going to say is on the flip side, and not for me to say fuck these companies because our companies aren't the bad, same, right? right. Just like, you know right, saying? So right, the fact right. that, so let's, let's, let's give them some applause too. Like, the fact that they did give them back his shit and paid him we got we to gotta applaud them, too, because some yeah. companies probably have been like, nah, I'm going to just do this just because, right? Or I'm going to just continue to eat because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's good content. I'm, I just want to be a dick. The fact that they, 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 they gave it back to him, they gave him his money, I definitely want to applaud that because yeah. a lot of companies don't yeah. do that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So kind of throwing a curveball in there because this is the same company that Nick Cannon works for. Mm. You know, Nick Cannon uh, lost Wild and now they had parted their ways, but now he's coming back. How do two you feel? Now. Two different, it's, but same two different company. situations. Same, same company, company mm. kind of the same resolve. They gave it back, but the apology and all of this stuff. How do you feel about him accepting? Well, that, that lets back? me know that black creatives run the show, okay. And without them, you will take a major hit, and that's just all I'm saying. Because we're talking about Nick Cannon and Dave Chappelle. These are two, not even just legends, but they are two. They have their own wave that they've had for years on years on years, which means they have a fan base what i like to call like a cult base like you can't take their fans away from them their fans are their fans like die hard rock hard and they rocking with them regardless and when you take that away from your platform that's a major hit like that's a major hit two of the biggest you know what i'm saying uh entertainers that you know we have so so i think you know when it comes to that would you take it back <clears throat> um would i take it back probably so i'm gonna tell you why i've learned over the years that like all this shit is about business. You know what I'm saying? Like, none of this shit is personal. And if Viacon is going to cut the bigger check, fuck it. I'm yeah. going to just take my job back. It's yeah. a job at the end of the day. <clears throat> However, what I will say is, when it comes to that, one, maybe he's thinking about he's thinking about the other people that he's employed, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I need to get my team back their mm-hmm. job. That's that's a major part we got to look, uh, look into, right? Because it's like, yo, it's not just about me now. Yeah. Right. It's about so many more yeah. people. Two... Can I be real for a second? Mm-hmm. I think it. I don't want to get dragged, but I'm a, I'm a I'm a creator, and I should, probably shouldn't be on this side. But I'm gonna just be real. From my perspective, I can't talk about David Chappelle. I can talk about Nick Cannon. Ever since that situation went happened, I ain't really see um, Nick Cannon like that. I don't think his uh, Cannon's class been doing like that many numbers. I go to watch him and like they aren't that interesting to me. So for as far as like I like Nick Cannon. So as a Nick Cannon fan, I follow him. Mm-hmm. But far as like a large perspective or a large scale, I haven't seen him around like that. Right. I definitely do think it's dope that they were offering him his position back because it's good for his be, just to be honest, they didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, while and out definitely made a lot of money for yeah. the company, right? But at that moment, after that situation, I don't know about y'all, but I haven't yeah. really seen him like that. But it, I also <clears> think <throat> it speaks to the fact that it's the team he created and what mm, they brought. Facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's because he did employ a lot of people, and a lot of them are comedians that actually are rising through this mm-hmm. pandemic. You know, shout out to the 85 South show. And you see all their the all the creators he had on his show still trying to strive, still try to get it. And, you know, when you combine them all as a team, that's a lot of weight. You right. get what I'm saying? So, you know, 
Nick Cannon, maybe not so much, but because he created that and that was his and what he brought and people who worked under him. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I remember when they tried to offer his uh, yeah, teams yeah. Yeah, uh, he denied pieces it. of the pie. They denied because at the end of the day, if you're not going to bring my creator back with me, I don't want to come. You know but what I'm that saying? Shows... So now it shows like to me. He is also about his team and what he can bring to the table and what type of creatives he pushed to the front. And board. that's what I was going to say. It shows as like how much how much he brings as a person. Yeah. As a creative, as yeah. a like you know what I'm saying, because mind, as a visionary. Like, yeah. I say that because like even though he has been off the grid, what if I would say, mm -hmm. for lack of better words, I think that his the people around him, mm -hmm. all of them niggas was lit. Like yeah. you see I haven't really seen nothing about B Simone, but let's say the eighty five mm -hmm. South show is one of the hottest fucking podcasts out there. I mean, you had Cat Williams there at one point. Let's not talk yeah. about yeah, what we're doing now, but right. just... But I'm saying, like, let's say... But like, let's just say being able to bring the artists that the, he would bring on each Exactly. Every week, to bring like, them on shows, it shows up who you are, like how yeah. much of a reach you yeah. actually got. Because even though my numbers might not be as doing doing as well as everybody around me, the fact that I can get them yeah. in the room, that's what really yeah. matters. That's mm -hmm. that influence. Yeah. yeah, I might not be on Wild and Out, and yeah, my right. podcast might not be doing the most numbers, but guess what? I can get those, those people, people who's mm -hmm. doing the most numbers in the room when you can never. Yep, right? Exactly. That shows like exactly. The power yeah. of Jamie Foxx. Kind of yeah, like, it's, right? He's yeah. Always been. Exactly yeah. the power yeah. of Jamie Foxx. The yeah. fact that like, yeah, y'all don't know me as a singer. Yeah. But guess what? I'm about to throw Diddy party. I'm about to throw Jay-Z party. Y'all yeah. don't know who I am, but yeah. I can get these people in the same yeah. room when y'all yeah. could never. Like when they asked DC Young Fly to join, he said no. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I think that shows just how powerful a, as a creative he really was. Yeah. And I think that's super dope. Nah, I think dope. it's dope because like you said, like if you can't get these people without me, then realistically you do need me. You need me. me. You need me. Like, so it's like you don't have to, but you kind of have to. Like, yeah. And I think that's just good for anybody to take just in general. Just like make right yourself away. so valuable that people can't tell you no. And you know honestly, saying? though, yeah, it's that. <clears throat> and it's honestly like, yo, we got to... I know this is easier said than done because niggas really be struggling, right? So, like, these 360 deals that niggas want to make fun of now, they was changing people's lives at one point. Yeah. So, like, yeah, we can go on a grid because niggas know a little bit better. We know we know a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We do a little bit more research. Mm -hmm. We understand that it's different, social media and all that, et cetera, et cetera. We can't ignore the fact that these 360 deals was the same deals that was changing niggas' lives. Or so, with mm -hmm. that being... I'm sorry, with that being said, we got to understand, like, yo... If we're going to talk about these 360 deals, we also got to talk about the power of being independent, mm -hmm. right? The power of understanding mm -hmm. that, yo, I might have to sacrifice this bag for right now right. for the long run. Right. Because if I stay independent, right? And yeah. it's also faith. It's also trusting yourself, betting on yourself. Because a lot of times, a lot of niggas take these deals because they're scared that yeah. they don't have what it takes to become that, that platform, yeah. right? Like. Ah, so I'm gonna take this deal, but it's nothing wrong with it because it yeah. changes people's lives. Like but at the same time, you gotta have that confidence. And, and I think it's something that's the first time I actually looked at it in that perspective. Like you know, I know we give a lot of backlash to the companies that do these things, but at the end of the day, like you didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? And at a time, like it was changing people's lives, and it's just that as the world goes on and everybody evolves, like we learn different ways. But it doesn't mean that they learned in that way. Like they might be learning that too. Like damn, like they actually don't need us no more. Like now they can. Do this way. So now we got to go about this different or now our deals got to be different or what we offer them has to be different because everybody is evolving. The world is not the same and the power to get go viral and things are so much easier than it was back then. Who? Question. And, and, I was. What, wait, what? I think we're going to say the same no, thing. What? Oh, because, I, you know, question speaking of viral moments, you know, Soulja Boy came out and was like he created the viral moment, which I think. So shut the fuck up, man! It's crazy, no fucking viral moment. Like viral, been viral since viral. Like what are you talking about? No, it was on the radio. A lot of people was agreeing with him, so, saying that so, he, he he created so, the Soulja viral. Boy. Let's not get it fucked up. Soulja Boy cultivated this social media era. Let's give him his respect. But to say you created a viral, like the, the viral, idea of a viral, moment. you know what I'm saying? Like no, bro. Like viral been around. It just was since. Yeah, like yeah. since forever, or like even viral. like news, like news. Yeah, news, uh, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, like news stories, always. Exactly. Stories have always advanced yeah. due to the news. That's what they do. News yeah. chase, like radio, yeah. been chasing the the next new artist for a minute. Or wow, even the hottest story, chasing the buzz, right? Because yeah. the hottest story, right? Because if I get the hottest, random, you know, thing or even like things like Wrigley, Wrigley's, believe it or not, like they've been chasing those like one offs, like things you've never seen before, yeah. or like you know what I'm saying. So like it goes deep. But like, to say yeah. he created a viral moment. I was gonna ask you about this though, like far as talking about this to the business, right? I feel like money really isn't the root of all evil. It's greed. Oh yeah. And I feel like a That's lot a of us get greedy, and and it's, it, it, we don't even see it, honestly, right? 
So like these companies that do, let's say 360 deals, where, you know, I'm gonna give you an advance. You have to pay me back for everything, right? As yeah. a business, honestly, why wouldn't you get, if, if I could do that as a business, then yeah. I'm, I'm making the most on the back end. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of businesses carry it that way. Mm -hmm. But when it's black or when, 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 when we're not benefiting from it, mm -hmm. that's when we have a problem. But we be, some of us, not all of us, some of us be the same ones cultivating these things. Mm -hmm. We be the same one pushing and, 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 <clears throat> and promoting these things. Like, man, how can I make the most money I can make? Mm -hmm. But when, it's, when, we're, when we're on the other side, we don't like yeah. it. If we really have a problem with this, we can't, we can't continue to promote this. If we want to be fair, we got to be fair around the board. Like I feel yeah. like a lot of times, pe we 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 really don't want equality. We want revenge. Mm -hmm. and we got to get out of that mentality, right? Like this is this ain't about nothing else but business mm -hmm. right now, right? Like so, it's like, bro, if you think it's unfair, same same way I can say, yo, whatever you expect from me, give. Mm -hmm. Whatever we expect from other companies or other people, mm -hmm. give too. So like when we have our own companies, don't just pay somebody minimum wage because we can get away with it. Mm -hmm. Pay them what they what they yeah. worth. Pay them what's fair. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because when somebody else do it to us, we, we yeah. oh, these people don't give yeah. a fuck about us. Like, yeah. come on, man. Like, yeah. let's give out what we want. And and I think it's like you said, like, uh, a lot of people don't realize at a point you're going to be in the same positions that you're actually down in somebody else for. Like, if you're a business owner, like, by law, you got to pay people a certain amount of rank depending on where they live or depending on where you are. And even if you want to pay them more, you might have to stay or depending on the loan you got, you still have to stay under right. these things. So you got to understand you can't really down companies for doing certain things because some of these things, they're following a protocol that they have no choice but to do. And even if they wanted to, they don't have the money to either do it. They don't have the budget to do it in these things. So without knowing the back end details, like we just got to be honest and understand our lane in, in the positions that we're in. Like if we're not in a position to do certain things, we're just not. And you have to do what you can until you are in those positions to be able right. to make those calls. And like if you're not in that position, you can't expect them to just do something because to be deep down, you're not in those positions for a reason. And if you knew better, you'd be in the position. So obviously you are also missing a piece of the information that you don't know as well. But something else you just said, like, yo, understand that all this shit is temporary. If you have a, a idea of what you, what, where you want to go, understand that this is a part of the process. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have to take... Your first deal not about to be your best deal, yeah. but understand that like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to make this a long term deal because I need to be able to position myself yeah. in a few years to make a better negotiation. Yeah. Right. And I think it's just all with knowledge. Right. Yeah. Just continue to, to research things, continue to study yeah. and continue to just better yeah. your mind, man. Better yeah. yourself. I think it has a lot to do with that. Just knowing better, because like you said, like a lot of people go into certain things, just not knowing better. But when you know better, you know, you can demand certain things in fact and before you sign a contract if you know certain things and then you want certain things you got to learn to speak up and stop letting people speak for you read the contract yeah just there it is bring it to a lawyer read the contract read the contract. contract read the contract yeah yo yeah. episode 59 59 no, dope. damn 59 yeah Ow. man yeah yeah happy valentine's day happy Sting. valentine's day baby yeah. You know, uh, we appreciate everybody who pulled up. You know, we had the chef, Chef Kim in here. We had all the girlfriends in here. No, got a little audience today, and it's lit. Like in a, in a, a rooms, in a rooms full of periods, we are gonna give you a comma because we ain't never stopping. You know what I'm saying? Period. I'm saying, um, oh my god, that was a bar. I was just saying, that was a bar. I ain't we ain't gonna stopping. Love. Can't stop, won't stop. You know that's what I'm saying? A, that's, that's Gemini <laughs> Scorpio podcast episode 59. More on the way. Make sure you uh subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make Big sure you turn the notification bell on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you send us to three people. Make sure you just fuck with us. Continue to fuck with us, and um, we appreciate you. Yeah, hella baby, we out. It's a wrap. It must be the drink.